inside, bring out the pups, put headbands and feathers on them, and play with them. And coexist with them. Yeah. We don't, yeah. We don't coexist with nature anymore. Damn, I better figure out how. Oh, exactly, real soon. Well, I've been, I've been thinking my next incarnation, I'm going to go somewhere to a different planet, which like I'm going to have to now. <laughs> you been keeping up with what's going on in Fukushima? Oh, Look yeah, that stuff's pretty crazy. Go up enenews.com, it'll scare you a half out of your wits. <laughs> I look at it this way, when it's my time to go, it's my time to go. Yeah, Exit, I don't you know, wanna, hey, don't mourn, yeah, don't, be I happy, don't, have a celebration. I, I don't, don't want to be yeah. around, I don't want to be trying to get wherever it is we're going next and seven billion people rushing the gate. Somebody's going to get trampled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, but, so what do you think, uh, if you don't mind my asking, what do you think, uh, how do you think your view of the afterlife is different from Christianity? And I don't believe in hell. Yeah. <laughs> Don't we think you're. Uh, we on Earth thought make our own hell. Yeah, yeah. With, hell is if if there is a, pl a hell, it's a man-made place, and the second that you decide you want to be somewhere else, you will be. My dad always thought he he, he was a marine. He'd always said, "Well, I'm gonna go to hell. I'm gonna go to hell." A couple of days after his death, he started hanging out with me, going, "You're right." I'm not there anymore. <laughs> yeah. And he was he was so different from what he was when he was alive because I never saw him get excited. I never saw him smile very much. But his spirit hanging around with me, it's unbelievable how different he is. And it, it's you know you, you you're not you're not assigned a pair of wings and a heart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I don't I don't think God is this old white man with long hair and a full beard sitting on a golden throne with a lightning bolt for a scepter. <laughs> I may be surprised, but I don't think that's what God is. God, goddess, universe and everything. God is male and female. Because when I try to find balance in everything. That's what you know, we've we've been the male dominated religions have really screwed things up, man. I mean, you know, world wars and stuff, forty five million people killed in World War Two. Well, of course, males, yeah. males yeah. are combative, warlike. Women are and more not terribly uh, bright, it seems. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. yeah. Well, you know, I've been doing some uh, research into the uh, uh, the basement of the Old Testament, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and um, it's yeah. it's pretty much scholarly consensus now that um, uh, before there was Yahweh, there was El and Asherah. Mm. And you still see the name El frequently yeah. in the Bible. It yeah. means the God. Yeah. <laughs> he had bullhorns, and really? um, yeah, and he uh, <laughs> and he was married. He was the partner of the goddess God. Asherah, who was the yeah. great mother goddess. Yeah, you know? I, I saw, I saw, I saw <laughs> just same as everywhere else. La la later uh, termed to Cyrenos uh, or Pan. Yeah, 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 same same uh, deity. Okay. I'm con yeah, exactly. That, that's also, everywhere you go. This the horn god and the great mother, you know. It's yeah. Also, in Egyptian culture, yeah. there was Bat. Right. He was the keeper of yeah. children and childbirth. Yeah. And he was a horn god as well. See, now, I've been wondering about that with the Egyptian. So, it was, it was Bat? Bat. The last two was. He was actually a horned god also that took care of children and uh, pregnancy. He would oh, cool. be the one to cast the net as far as for the women's stomachs. Oh. He would be the one that would draw the dots on the stomach and as the stomach became larger with child, the net would spread and it would keep it in. Oh, cool. Okay. So he's kind of a protector then, too. There, there kind was of a something, there was something threshold. on uh, had to be History Channel about the Kabbalah, yeah. mm -hmm. the Jewish mystical, mystical belief system. And they had their version of the Tree of Life, and then at the bottom of it was the male god, and on the other side of it was the symbol for the female god. Right? Yeah, the god. Mm -hmm. So, even as far back as that... Where we lost the female side of things, I'm not sure, but it's been our loss. Paganism is bringing back Kings. that side. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. There's a big Good. resurgence in it now, too. Yeah. It it yeah, That's people are pretty sick of the old. Else, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, people's hearts are in the right places. They just need to go about it in a different manner. Yeah, well, it, that's the thing. I think people want to figure out how to, and they just—it's not exactly like everybody's runner. Everybody is telling them, teaching them in, uh, you know, high school and uh, college. Yeah. Well, when I was when I was young, the only the only book around about anything mystical was uh, uh, Don Juan. Let's see who's calling here. And maybe if you're lucky, uh,
Well, he's an atheist, or was anyway. <laughs> he was an a-hole, man. <laughs> well, actually, I my believe it or not, my initiator was a neighbor of his. He grew up in the same neighborhood that yeah. Levey did, and he he was he was quite a showman, you know. He put on such an act, you know. But he was actually. He didn't believe in the devil. He uh, used he the devil like, as a uh, symbol okay. for the human ego. Well, when he when he did his prayer and it was simply the Lord's, Lord's prayer set backwards, I thought there's nothing mystical about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just he just wanted to. He was just a jerk. <laughs> well, it was the '60s, you know. It's like you mess you mess with people's heads in order to open their minds and all yeah, that, you know. Yeah. But he was uh, no. Some of the people around him were jerks.